For more on what the Fed stimulus announcement means for the U.S. economy, I'm joined now by Michael Pond. He's the co-head of U.S. rates strategy at Barclays Capital. Mike, uh, nice to have you back here in the studio. Uh, what would you make of the bond market reaction? Well, the, the announcement was about as expected. So we were expecting about $100 billion purchases a month. And combined with the reinvestment that the that's Fed is already it. doing, yeah. that's about what we're getting over the next uh, seven months or so, seven, eight months. However, the bond market reacted very sharply, not the levels, but the curve. So the 30-year sold off, the five-year rallied, and in part it was because some investors were positioned for the Fed to do a lot more at the long end, to come in and buy a, significant, a significantly greater amount of 30-year bonds, and that's not likely to happen. Uh, and why isn't that? I mean, how come they're not going to do that? Sure. Well, the Fed is concentrating their purchases where they think they can have the biggest bang for their buck on consumer and businesses, business borrowing. So and that's, that's the five at the, and the intermediate ten year. sector. The that's five right. and the 10-year. Okay. That's right. Really, between the, the four-year sector all the way up to the 10-year sector, they're buying about 20% or 60% of their purchases within that window, some in the long end, as they have all along, but they're not upping the purchases in the long end. Um, is, that, is that traditionally the area that is going to have the biggest impact on that's businesses? That's right. So particularly, they're, they're targeting consumer borrowing rates for mortgages, and typically mortgages to price off the intermediate sector of the of the Treasury curve. So that's really the logic from the Fed's perspective. Okay, but even that, it's not going to be, as we've been hearing all along, the silver bullet for the economy, right? That's right. Partly, the, the biggest impact is the psychological impact of the Fed being there to support the market. Again, borrowing rates are already low, so the, this isn't pushing yields dramatically lower from here. We've already had a decent rally because of speculation of purchases, so actual purchases probably won't do a whole lot to lower borrowing rates further, but it's just the, more the psychological impact that the Fed will be there over time to support the economy. Okay, and put this in perspective with what we just heard from the BOE, which said, nope, we're not doing anything else right now. Well, certainly there are some on uh, the Bank of England that are looking for more, uh, so Posen, for example. But others say, look, the growth is high, inflation is high, uh, and we don't need to do anything more. In the U.S., inflation is low and the unemployment remains very high. So the Fed can afford to do more without causing too much concern about near-term inflation expectations, although they are pushing longer-term inflation expectations much higher. But what's going to happen when the interest rate differential gets bigger and bigger between well, the U.S. and other countries? Not what's going to happen, but what is happening, and right. that's what is the happening, dollar right. is falling. Right now, it's falling in an orderly fashion, and so it's a, it's a good thing. Um, over time, if that continues, it, it should it's a good spur thing because, ex exports. Okay. Um, it should spur, ex spur, spur exports and, and push up on inflation marginally. If it falls at uh, a disorderly decline, well, then that's a, it's, that's a different story and something the Fed and uh, administration officials just don't want. Okay. All right, Michael. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Michael Pond of Barclays Capital on the interest rate scenario.